Kurdish-controlled territories in the north of the country there are reportedly set to declare a federal system later today. If it happens, it will be named the Federation of Northern Syria. If it goes to plan, it will therefore represent all ethnic groups living there. Let's focus on the map, see what we're talking about here. Well, the Kurds currently control a 400-kilometer-long territory in the northeast of Syria. It stretches from the city of Kobani over to the Iraqi border. They also live in the northwest of Syria, too, and in an enclave very close to Turkey. We uh, contacted Baz and ISO just last hour, a Kurdish journalist, to get some more details on uh, what's likely to be happening here. Uh, now the, the, the conference just started in, in uh, uh, Remiland City, the, uh, about 200 people. Uh, now uh, uh, the conference just started. Uh, we were supposed to, this conference was supposed to announce uh, uh, federation system as a uh, uh, political project for the Rojava and uh, North Syria. Neighbouring Turkey has already branded the introduction of any federal system for the Kurds, who they consider uh, terrorists, of course, as illegal. Earlier, Ankara's concerns over the Kurdish expansion in northern Syria went so far, in fact, that the Turkish artillery targeted them in cross-border fire. Kurdish villages were also shelled too, and several civilians were reportedly injured. But Turkey stated it had every right to conduct the operation, even though it's on Syrian territory. When it comes to fighting threats, Turkey holds the right to conduct any operation it sees necessary on Syria or any soil that breeds terrorism. No one can restrict our right to self-defense, nor prevent us from exercising it.